Uh, welcome guys to another tutorial for System Designer. This time we're gonna see how texture or mesh in Substance Designer. To this tutorial I have this uh, mesh, a basic cube, with uh, different uh, with three materials applied on every face. Uh, every two faces have a material uh, and we assign a different color for each of them okay also uh, this mesh have the UV ungrab uh, how we see here we go to window UV texture editor And here we have the, you can see we have grab the, the cube. And we're gonna export this like FBX to some style designer to uh, start the texture. Okay, let's go to Substance Designer. Okay, yeah, uh, here we in Substance Designer. We're gonna import our mesh, we just drag to the package and the Substance Designer create a folder of resources. Now we will right click and bake, uh, bake information from our model. And now we have uh, different maps to bake the normal, uh, but we are the most important is. Uh, convert uh, UV to SVG and also we have to tell uh, Substance Designer what is our mesh this is the most important, convert UV to SVG uh, just click, ok and Substance Designer automatically we are going to uh, bake in our maps for us ok here we, we have our maps and we're gonna have the most important convert UV to SVG. Uh, okay, uh, we just making this more white and just drag to our graph. Okay, here uh, we have our color map, ID color map, and we bring the our mesh to the 3D view. And now we can remove the, uh, the materials from our mesh for speed uh, the performance and just the default material lib. Okay, now we have our color ID. Now we bring uh, another color, color node, sorry, and we're gonna search uh, this node material selector. This we allow this to create mask from uh, colors from our color map ID. Right click and we pick the color from UV. We have a first mask. Control D duplicate. We're gonna select the another color, right pick, and we choose the, the green color. We have the second mask, and we're gonna duplicate this, control D again, and this time we're gonna select uh, the color left is blue. And we have our tree mask for our tree materials. Okay, let's make another color, and we're gonna blend with the opacity from our first mask. Okay, we have here. Control D to duplicate. We're gonna use the second mask as opacity, and we're gonna bring an, another color node. This time a yellow, 
Uh, we're gonna make the same for the third material, for the last material. Actually, duplicate, and we use the the last mask. Uh, we're gonna bring another color. And we have we have uh, our three basic materials. Just we gonna have to blend between them, and we gonna connect to the base color. If you don't see nothing in your three D view, right click in the new graph and view outputs in three D view. Okay, now we have uh, three colors in our 3D view. And basic, uh, in basic, this is the the same for uh, roundness and metals. We're gonna bring a normal color here. This time we're gonna use a normal flat. And we're gonna make uh, the metallic for our materials. We're gonna bring a blend color and we're gonna connect. Okay, we, we have a metallic for the one material. Uh, let's uh, bring a, a, to another material blend. In, in mode uh, blend mode uh, linear dodge add linear dodge now we have uh, the two metallic presets for for two materials these two materials are metallic and we're gonna make the last material no metallic just let me organize this to give us more space to work. Here in Substance Designer you have to arrange the, your nodes to make space and then become messy. Okay, uh, bring the uh, invert grayscale and we're gonna have the first mask And this, this is the no metallic material. We're gonna blend with uh, another blend. Opacity add linear dodge, and we're gonna connect. Okay, now we have two metallic materials and one no metallic material. Okay, but let's go to the rawness. It's almost the same. We're gonna have the blend color, and we're gonna choose this. This is the. This is the. We're gonna change the color. This this orange will not be uh, metallic. Uh, sorry, we we have the roughness orange will be material roughness. Connect, and we have. Roughness uh, of materials. We're gonna tweak uh, some notes. We're gonna grab this invert grayscale from the from this note, and we have two metallics and one non-metallic.
okay basic workflow here is you grab you you wish to your color ID map generate the mask and create your materials with that we're gonna change the color more brown okay we're gonna make uh, this brown is good texture good we're gonna have a blend sorry we're gonna bring a uh, normal normal combine and normal node we wanna blend with our normal color and the opacity from this okay and now we have uh, two metallics and one no metallic texture is good okay but uh, that is all folks for this tutorial i hope you like find useful comment share subscribe um that is all folks see you later thanks bye bye